And um, basically, you know, like I, like I would say, we live in a nation whereby even from, from our elementary stage, only few people are opportunes to understand or to be trained with the duty of care. If your parents had not taught you to care for another person, when they see what I did, they will basically say it is for a selfish purpose. But when I realized my parents had never done anything for their own selfish purpose, they do it because it is the right thing to do. So people that have the kind of upbringing my parents have, that I have, would not raise in that way. If somebody who is very close to you, somebody who takes a time to confide in you, a friend, a colleague, as an artist, whenever we travel out, whether we go for a premiere, to show films, to Ozu, or to go on a visit, our, our intention is to return back home. We never pray to die there and not return home. Even if we die, we wish that somebody, the group we belong to, would make effort to return us back home. Now to somebody who died with a two-month-old child, if we now decide, even if the family said, when the family said, you know what, we, we cannot just go through all this, let them just bury her there. And now we looked at it and said, she's our colleague, she's our friend. And you have to reason back that, what if it was on the reverse? If I die in America, die in London, die anywhere, Nigerians don't even understand what it means to bury somebody where the family will have the ability to go there and visit at their convenience. Burying is not just burying, you can't just bury. We don't even understand all that. Our, you see, there is so many problems with our upbringing. We were not raised with the duty of care. We were not taught to care for our neighbors. And when we see people do that, we quickly label it. It is killing the moral responsibility that we should do to ourselves. That should stop in this country. I, I'm not going to regret I'm in Nigeria. I'm not going to regret I was born in this clan. But when your parents did not raise you to care for the neighbor, a neighbor is shouting, Oh, don't alone. Is that life? Would that kind of person tell me she or she's he's a Christian or a Muslim or a traditionalist? I don't care the religion you do, you are a messed up. The first and the on the scale of preference. The onus is on us as colleagues to put our life, our everything on hold to ensure that we give her that befitting barrier. Get her down. We never even expected that we're going to get the money from one source. If I say, people will say, ah, baby, it's just saying. If it, that moment, if it will take me to sell my car to get the body down, I'll do it. Because it doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense. So what, what, what popularity will caring for your colleague brings to me? The worst it can give is goodwill. It cannot give me the attention my movie gave me in 2016. I shot Metomi. People saw it, they love it. They have been shooting films for the past 11 to 13 years. So why would anybody on earth think an actor who is working hard Who's got talent? And then leaving the film inside, showing care and concern, want to make popularity from that. If I sit back and say because of that, I'm not going to show concern and get her down, would that even help the daughter that raised alarm that I want my mother to be brought home? She said it without even an idea of where the money or the help is coming from. So if we now listen and even give that request, they deserved attention. Is that seeking attention and popularity? Where would that one take anybody to? Am I not going to die? So, live about, it's, it's, a, it's a figment of somebody's imagination. But I want to believe if, if it is on the other side, if it is in the Western world, this kind of question will not come up. Because they know it is their duty. So when they see colleagues do that, they appreciate it's a normal thing things like this are too normal for me they are not they're not an exercise to bring any other thing it is a normal thing for me what gives me attention and popularity are my movies and that is 
where people know <laughs> know me from. Any other thing is an attachment. It's just if it's very fair. If there is anything that has happened, I want to believe I have invested the little name I have in getting this done. So I don't know where the publicity is coming from. I don't know if it's going to give me an um, ambassadorial position or something. But there's no way you do things right. The person that died is popular. We that we are trying to honor her, she's not going to tell us thank you. There's no way she will come back and say thank you. And some people would not even raise a finger to even support what we did. So when we did that, forgetting the fact that people involved are also popular in our own right. Is it Fethi Abalogun that wants to gain popularity um, for, for doing that? I don't want to compare, but I, I still want to believe that caring for each other shouldn't mean or translate to sexual popularity. It is the right thing to do. So if you are not doing it, please start doing it. Don't think about popularity is out of it. It's, 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 it's absurd. I don't, I don't buy such. Of course, she has been reunited with um, our immediate family and she's doing fine. And, and by the grace of God, she will grow old. We have pictures of uh, pictures and videos of footages that she, when she grows old and wants to see, they will give it to her to see. Then she can reconnect to this moment. You know, those are part of the things we we had in plan. So she's doing fine, like I said. And let's just keep praying for the family, keep praying for the children, and God will be with them.